عرفان عملی One type of عرفان is theoretical عرفان عرفان نظری And they say okay Sufi and Tasawwuf is عرفان عملی which is practical عرفان So for عرفان عملی we call Sufi or Tasawwuf For عرفان نظری or theoretical عرفان we call عرفان Some scholars say okay this is different between عرفان and Tasawwuf But anyway in many cases عرفان and Tasawwuf are the same We go to types of عرفان The definition is clear The definition of عرفان Tasawwuf and Islamic mysticism is clear Now we go to types of عرفان Yes Yes, you read the types of Irfan. Difficult? Huh? It is difficult or easy? It's good. Okay. It's so good to practice some. Irfan is a scientific and academic discipline. Itself has two types of two types or branches: the practical and the theoretical. The practical Irfan, Irfan Amadi. The practical aspect of Irfan describes the describes and explains the relationship and responsibility the human the human being bears towards itself, towards the world and towards God. Here Irfan is similar to ethics, Akhlaq, both of them being practical sciences. The practical teaching of Irfan is also called the itinerary of the spiritual path. Say Ser wa Suluk traveling and journeying. Here, the wife, father, Salik, who desires to reach, to reach the goal of the sublime peak of humanness, um, that is to say, Tohi, is told where to set off the ordered stages and stations that he must, that he must tra traverse, the states and conditions he will undergo at these stations, and the events that will befall him. Needless to say, all these stages and stations must be passed under the guidance and supervision of a mature and perfect example of humanity who, having traveled this path, is aware of the manners and ways of each station. If not, and there is no perfect human being to guide him on his path, he is in danger of going astray. Very good. So first, the type of Irfan is Ar Irfan al-Amali which is uh, talking about uh, practicing something to purify our soul, our nafs, and to go through some orders and values. So it's very close to ethics. Irfan Amali, practical Irfan, is very close to ethics. But the main difference between ethics and Irfan is that uh, in Irfan, there is a need of a symbol or osve. In Irfan, we should have a perfect human being. We can call insan al-kamil. Al-insan al-kamil, al-insan al-kamil, perfect human being. In Seyr al or in traveling or journeying toward the goal, which is Allah or whatever you call if you want to pass this uh, for example way and reach that end and uh, goal somebody should guide you should show you the path and they call or they call this person is al insan al kamil a perfect human being so they prove or prove that all the times there should be, there should be a perfect human being. This is the reason that Irfan Amali is very close to the theology and idea of Shia. Because according to Shia school of thought, there should be a hujjah all the times. There should be a perfect human being all the times. From Adam until Khatam, the end of this world. There should be a perfect man. So according to Irfan Amali also, it is necessary that all the times there should be a Murshid or perfect man or Usfe or al insan al-Kamil to guide Urafa, to guide the people who want to path 
the way of Irfan. So in Irfan Amali, all the time we, call, we talk about practicing something. It is about practicing. It's about to do something. And there are many books, there are many orafa talking about these practical things. As I told you, it's very close to ethics. To do this, not to do that. This is good, this is bad. You know, the science which talks about values is ethics, is morality, is akhlaq. And also in Irfan Amali, we talk about good things and bad things, good actions and bad actions. You should do this, you should not do this. So this is very close to Irfan Amali and ethics, yes. Um. Like other than not, you know, forbidding from the haram and doing the wajibat and stuff in the hawza and in the system where I guess you're in a way guided to towards the different stages and stations of the fun, is there a structured way or is it very subjective on the teacher that's teaching you Irfan? I mean the methodology is it is there like one methodology they use or is there like actually Yes, if somebody wants to follow the path of Irfan, there is a specific methodology, a specific discipline, and uh, the ustad or uh, murad or teacher or sheikh, there are several names for this. Usually they say a sheikh. Sometimes they say murad. Murad and murid. Murad is like a symbol, is a, like a teacher that you follow him. So he should uh, uh, give, uh, he should show you or teach you the way of uh, practical mysticism, the way of Irfan. But at the same time, same time, he is the best person who is practicing Irfan. So Sheikh and Ustad and teacher all the times says to his students, you follow me. You just look at me and then whatever I do, you follow and then you will reach the goal. So it's very important. In Irfan, in regular school, in regular uh, classes, teacher talks, teach and go. But in Irfan in class, teacher says no. I teach you and then I ask you to follow, to follow me. And even now we have some teachers in Jose that uh, when they come to the class, one, two, five, whatever students, they say, okay, today I have this lesson for you. You have to do this in the morning. You have to do this practice in the afternoon, at night, and that's it. And after a while, after several days, when he comes, First, he asks everybody, have you done this? If yes, you can stay here. If not, you go outside, and when you complete your action, you can come and join us. So it means that a step by a step, a step by a step, teacher asks students to do, to do something, and then follow him. Is it a question? That we have like three, four different teachers. Okay. Their, each teacher has different students. Would they give them the same task? The A, B, C, A, B, C, or the A, B, C, D, E, F, H, I, J? No, no. They, the the uh, general point, the general goal is the same. But there are different ways. There are different ways. For example, one teacher may uh, suggest that, according to him, this is the best way to reach that goal. But another teacher, no. My understanding is that you have to follow this way and go and reach that goal. So there are different ways. But the goal is the same. Yes. My question was 